Hey guys, welcome back to Z Code System. Drew here, and today we're going to take a look at the upcoming Major League Baseball season, talk about a few things such as the outright winner's odds, a few little rule changes that are going to happen with Major League Baseball, and uh, a little bit of other things that uh, are coming up as we see the Major League Baseball season coming up in just a few weeks. Uh, of course, we've just had the uh, the CBA signed after a work stoppage, and we are in the middle of spring training. So a lot of good things are happening if you are a Major League Baseball fan. Uh, I know I'm excited for the new season. And, uh, of course, spring always uh, springs eternal for Major League Baseball fans, hoping that their favorite team will win the World Series come October. Uh, I know every year around this time I get excited for the Mets. And unfortunately, they let me down usually between June and July. So hopefully this year, knock on wood, will be the year for the Mets. But of course, they're going to be playing in the NL East against the reigning Major League Baseball World Series champions, the Atlanta Braves. Now, the Braves came out of nowhere for the most part last year to win the World Series. And as we know, um, the bookies have favored for most or for the last several years uh, to win the World Series. They've favored at the beginning of the season the LA Dodgers, and that is no different this season as the Dodgers will go into the Major League Baseball season as the bookies' favorite at plus 450 to win the World Series. And uh, we'll have to see how that unfolds coming up this coming season. Now, if you want to check out the blog, we can just scroll down. I've got some great things up there, some Champions League predictions coming up for this coming week. There's a video on YouTube as well for that. We've got some NHL picks, which uh, took place over the weekend, as well as NBA picks. And as you can see there, we've got the Major League Baseball preseason preview. I wrote that personally, and uh, we've got the Dodgers, as I said before, who are the favorites at the moment for the bookies. Now, let's take a look at First off, the betting odds for the World Series. Which team is going to win the World Series? Well, the bookies are already favoring the Dodgers, but who else has good, strong odds to win the World Series this season? Okay, you can see there we have all the teams for Major League Baseball, courtesy of Bet365. We've got the betting odds, the outright futures odds on the World Series. And if you are a Bet365 uh, user, you can use the, or you can, uh, you have a few more weeks before you need to get your outright World Series bet in. And as you can see, the, the Dodgers are plus 450 to lift the World Series trophy. Now, again, the Dodgers have been the favorites for, I, I want to say, maybe the last two, three, four seasons going into um, going into the campaign, along with the Yankees. The Yankees are usually uh, right up there with the Dodgers. And uh, the Dodgers, again, a strong team going into... Uh, into the 2022 season, but you know maybe a little surprise there. Toronto Blue Jays plus 800. They're the second favorites, and that AL East is stacked this season. And really, the only certain going into the season about the AL East is that well, the Baltimore Orioles are the worst team in that division. As you can see there, the Orioles are plus 40,000 to win the World Series. So I guess we can go ahead and write off the Baltimore Orioles to um, to not make the World Series and to win it. Uh, so uh, yeah. The AL East is going to be stacked this season. Astros plus 900. Then we got the Yankees at plus 1,100. Brewers coming in at plus 1,100, while the White Sox are plus 1,200. And we've got a bit of a reload there from Bet365. Uh, the Braves plus 1,200 there. Again, they won the World Series last season. And uh, a lot of pundits are tipping the Braves to do well again in the AL, excuse me, in the NL East. And, uh, you know, they could parlay that success from last season over into this coming season. There's my Mets plus 1500. They've done a lot of things uh, in the off season and uh, it'd be interesting to see how well that they can uh, improve on what they did last season. And it was a bit of a hot and cold year for the New York Mets. So as we can see there, we've got the new odds. And uh, if you scroll down there to the plus 6,000, we've got the Cleveland Guardians. Of course, the Guardians, uh, well, Cleveland, they've now changed their names to the Guardians, uh, taking the, uh, the new name, getting rid of the old moniker, the Indians. Uh, they'll be the Guardians this season. So uh, a lot of fans who are maybe not following Major League Baseball so closely at the moment, uh, they might see that and say, what the heck? Uh, but again, of course, they've changed their names uh, to the Guardians going into this campaign as we get ready for the 2022 season. And of course, like I said, we're in the uh, spring training right now. So uh, you can get ready for your Major League Baseball betting uh, by partaking in a few of those preseason 
bets. All right, let's take a look at something that I wanted to bring up, which is some rule changes that are going to affect Major League Baseball and could affect your betting this year in Major League Baseball. Okay, so opening day is going to be coming up on April the 7th. Now, this is this week, so get excited for that, uh, for opening day. And uh, just to mention a few key dates that are going to be happening, you can read about this in the blog as well, uh, but we're going to have on April 15th, Jackie Robinson Day, June the 2nd, Luke Gehrig Day, uh, July 15th through the 19th, we're going to have the All-Star Weekend, and that's going to be held at Dodger Stadium in L.A., and then we're going to be going on to August 11 when we have the Field of Dreams game with the Cubs taking on the Reds. And then on August 21st, we've got the Little League Classic Red Sox and Orioles. And then September 15th, Roberto Clemente Day. And then finally, on October the 5th, we're going to have the final scheduled day of the regular season. I guess that is a pending date unless something, you know, in case something occurs during the regular season. Um um, you know, COVID related perhaps. Uh, but you know what? This season, Major League Baseball season, again, with sports getting back to the way things, you know, kind of were pre pandemic, we're going to see a Major League Baseball season that is a little bit more of the norm, if you will, uh, going to this. But we're going to have some rule changes this year that um, are going to be a little bit of, well, not the norm if you're a baseball purist. And the biggest one that is possibly going to affect you are betting. And something that I absolutely loathe is the fact that the National League will now have a DH. I hate the fact that the National League will have a DH. I always thought that this was a great way to separate the two leagues, the American League and the National League. And that this was something special um, that Major League Baseball did. And the fact that you had to kind of, uh, well, managers had to adapt to having a pitcher hitting in the lineup. And you had to have tactics based around this. And, you know, as a better, you had to have tactics based around this. I think this uh, is going to favor betters more uh, coming up in this coming season. And it's going to probably increase offense. And as we've seen over the last couple of years, offense is down. Uh, I believe offense was down quite significantly last season. Uh, we saw 5,929 home runs. Now, take away the 2020 season because that was shortened because of COVID. Um, but that was down from 2019 when there were 607, excuse me, 6,776 home runs that season. Uh, so we're seeing uh, a slight decline in the number of home runs. Uh, we saw it kind of peak or, or go up for a, a few years, and then we've seen it kind of go down. And we've seen Major League Baseball try to bring in rule changes to adjust for this, to try to bring more offense into the game. Because, well, to the owners, offense means more money and more fans, which I really disagree with. And I hate the fact that there's going to be a DH, but I'm sure there's a lot of betters out there who are going to enjoy this. Now, one of the other things, uh, significant rule changes and it's something that I do not like because I'm a purist, and that is the playoffs will be expanded to 12 teams this coming postseason. Uh, again, I feel like this waters down Major League Baseball, but again, this makes the owners and the leagues more money. Revenues go up even more, which, of course, with what happened with the um, <clears throat> work stoppage uh, early before the pre, uh, excuse me, before spring training, uh, you know, we're seeing that that the owners just want to increase those revenues even more. Uh, again, I do not like this. Um, I, I prefer a fewer number of teams in the postseason because that makes the regular season worth more. It makes it worth more than having uh, 12 of your uh, your teams make the postseason. And, you know, again, like I said, watering it down uh, in the postseason. So that's something we're going to see once we get to uh, October. And, uh, you know, we're going to have with the increase in playoff positions, we're going to see teams really going for it at times as we get down the stretch. And again, that will affect your betting on Major League Baseball games uh, as teams really try to get into the postseason. Uh, a few other things that are going to be happening in Major League Baseball this season. Uh, and again, another thing that might affect your betting is the fact that there are going to be uh, a few uh, implications, I should say. Uh, the MLB is going to attempt to prevent teams from from putting out poor lineups late in the season or you know, midway through the season so they can get higher draft picks. So basically, the idea is to prevent teams from tanking. Major League Baseball is going to do a little bit of work to uh, to prevent that. And again, if teams are tanking 
fewer games and uh, mailing it in fewer times, then uh, your betting is definitely going to be affected by it. Uh, and one last thing uh, that uh, I find to be uh, interesting is that Major League Baseball is going to add uh, advertisements to the jerseys this season uh, in the same way that soccer does and in the same way that the major uh, excuse me that NBA does now uh, they're going to be having advertisements on the jersey and on the sleeve uh, on the front of the jersey I should say and on the sleeve to again bring in more revenues so a uh, very interesting thing that Major League Baseball will be doing uh, this coming year okay so the Braves like I said before they won the World Series last season and a lot of people are tipping them to do very well this year and uh, you know I don't know if you can uh, really, I think it's going to be very difficult for the Braves to repeat uh, because one, they came out of nowhere last season to win the World Series and uh, Major League Baseball is extremely competitive and it's going to be uh, that 12 team playoffs, that expansion is going to make it much more difficult for teams to go through the playoffs and to win the World Series. So that is definitely something to watch out for as we get towards the Major League Baseball postseason. Now, a couple of things of note that uh, I found very interesting reading through uh, some different previews and different uh, different Major League Baseball um, uh, predictions for the cup coming season. And that is, uh, you know, last year, the Braves were the talk of Major League Baseball. They were the big topic and no one saw that coming at this time last season. And I think it's safe to say that right now, uh, before the first pitch on April 7th, most people have no clue what the big topic of the Major League Baseball season is going to be. So, you know, it is always something that we're not talking about. And uh, we can rest assured that there's going to be a surprise. And the main topic, main talking point this season is going to be about something that no one has any clue about right now. Um, and finally, uh, the last thing I want to say is, you know, uh, the Los Angeles Angels, Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim, if they're still going by that name, um, a lot of people, a lot of pundits love to pick them at the start of the season. It's, it's, it always seems like, you know, you listen to ESPN or you listen to some of these Major League Baseball experts and they're always picking the Angels because of Mike Trout or they're always picking uh, the Seattle Mariners. There's another team they're always picking up. But you know what? These teams, two teams, they're in the West and the AL, uh, always struggling. And my tip, my prediction, don't back these two teams to win the World Series in a futures bet. I don't think that either of these two teams are going to be uh, at the World Series uh, come October. And I can probably uh, go ahead and say that um, I don't believe that either of those teams are going to make the postseason. Uh, say, my, say what you will about Mike Trout being the best player in Major League Baseball. He just isn't able to get that team into the playoffs, which, in my opinion, doesn't make him the best player in baseball. But that's just my two cents and uh, my thoughts for betting on Major League Baseball futures. And of course, you can say don't bet on the Mets, which you know what, I'd probably say that too uh, if I weren't a fan. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me here with some Major League Baseball thoughts here on this preview. Get excited for the season coming up on April 7th. And if you're excited for it and you're ready to bet on it, then go over to Z Code System and sign up today for Z Code System so you can get all of the tools there to wager smartly on the Major League Baseball season up to coming. All right, guys, let me know down below in the comments what you think of this video and who you're backing to win the World Series this season. And we'll see you soon here on Z Code System. Oh, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date on all of our Major League Baseball picks throughout the entire Major League Baseball season. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me, and I'll see you soon here on Z Code System.